a super popular mall fragrance that I've never done a video on. I've smelled this fragrance one time six plus years ago, maybe. I got a sample in from Sense Angel and let's check this joint out together. Finally, a video on Frederick Mall's Musk Ravageur. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can jump into this sniffing session. <laughs> Peoples, you know who it is. It's your boy, C3U to the B to the A. Shout out to Sense Angel for sponsoring this video and sending me a sample of a fragrance that I requested, Musk Ravageur. I don't know if this is the most popular one between this and like maybe Portrait of a Lady in that Frederick Mall lineup, but I've never done a video on this particular fragrance and I remember smelling this fragrance at least six years ago and it not doing absolutely anything for me. My nose has changed, I think, a decent amount in that time frame, maybe more than a decent. So we're gonna revisit this joint together. This is only a sample. Again, you can get this joint at scentangel.com. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in sampling these joints because this is definitely a fragrance that I would have to sample before even pulling the trigger. Who knows? Maybe at this point in my life, I might actually enjoy it. I might love it. It might be a grill. I just don't know. But first, let's look up the notes. All right, so the notes are listed as follows. Lavender, tangerine, bergamot, cinnamon, clove, musk, vanilla, tonka bean, amber, sandalwood, gayak wood, and cedar. The notes sound great. I don't know what about it was that maybe I didn't like at that time. I, I forget shit that I smelled like three and a half days ago, so. This won't be a surprise. I'm hoping that I absolutely love this shit, but we shall see. So we got the sample here, actually handsome looking sample, but let's smell this joint. I got the test strip on Decky, and let's see if I'm a new fan of Musk Ravageur, and this is gonna be a full bottle cop for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it just smells like the holidays. If there's any way I can describe this fragrance, is by saying that this smells like the middle of October and November. I know it sounds confusing, but think about it. The transition between October and November, from Christmas, from pumpkin spice lattes, over to fucking cornucopias and turkey and stuffing fisting birds and shit. This is what it smells like to me. It smells like a ton of clove, lavender, sour oranges. It smells like a pie mixed with stuffing. It's confusing. It kind of smells all over the place. Now, is it a bad fragrance? No, it just, it just feels everywhere. Like right now I'm getting a big punch of amber, cinnamon, and clove. Amber, cinnamon, clove. It feels like it's engulfed in amber, cinnamon, and clove with lavender like strips. Like if you were shaving off the stems of lavender or whatever right over it. It's not bad, but it is a bit erratic. There's a creaminess, there's a muskiness. It really pinpoints all the notes that are said on like Fragrantica, but they smell very personalized, like bitter orange, clove. There's no marrying of the notes. It feels like each note is trying to present themselves like a teacher taking attendance. Clove, are you here? Present. That's what I'm feeling. Let me try it on skin. It, it's a little, a little bit of a brain fog. Only did a little spray because I, I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. I'm confused. And I usually like confusing fragrances, but this one is just too scattered for my taste. It doesn't feel like it's gonna cohesively meet. And when it does me, is it gonna be good? This feels like an artistic piece, but kind of a Monet. Like I'm gonna take a bunch of paint that looks beautiful and just throw the shit against the wall and however it lands, somebody's gonna go, oh, art, 2.5 million. What? No, I don't like it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It doesn't make me want to cop a bottle. And this is why I tell y'all fuckers, just cause I blind buy, don't mean you should. You really absolutely should not. 
This is a business for me, you know what I'm saying? I gotta buy shit. I gotta keep getting bottles to be able to make content. That's just what it is. Y'all don't have to. You just trying to smell good and get bush. I don't think this will get you bush. I don't know. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1.8, maybe 1.9. Yeah, nah. This ain't, this ain't slapping, my G. Not a ball sprayer for me. I guess I kept the same energy as six years ago. Maybe I'm lame, I don't know, but it's not doing it for me. This is why you should get samples. Scentangel.com can assist you with that. Check the link in the bio, see what samples they have. Sample before you buy. How much is this joint, like $220 for like a fucking 30 ml or some shit like that? At the end of the day, it's just my opinion. A ton of people love this shit. This shit is mad popular for me. Doesn't tickle my hymen. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know which one is your favorite mall fragrance, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooches. Put the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough brother than raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you